for joining me on another Mask Monday. Today I am going to be doing the Ulta Beauty 24 Karat Magic Metallic Peel Off Mask. So here's what it looks like. This is 3.4 ounces and it retails for $14 at Ulta. It says it's gold metallic peel off mask. 24 karat gold provides a luminous finish. Antioxidants help fight free radicals caused by pollution. And it says it helps reveal softer, smoother skin, which I do have some texture over around here, so would like that to be smoother. Directions, cleanse skin before use. Check, already done that. Apply the mask evenly with your fingertips, avoiding your hair, eyes, eyebrows, and lips. Allow the mask to set for approximately 20 minutes or until the mask is completely dry and your face feels tightened and toned. Gently peel the mask off, starting with the chin area and working your way up. Rinse with warm water to remove any remaining product. And this is made in the U.S. It says from U.S. and imported ingredients. It's free of parabens and sulfates. And let's see, for a bright glowing complexion. And I should have taken this off before, but open this up. And there is a little bit of scent. I can't put my finger on it. Let's see, maybe when I start putting it on. So here's how it looks when it comes out. Yeah, it just kind of smells, just kind of like a, I don't know, I can't really smell anything specific, but there is a little bit of scent to it. I know that's probably not helpful, but Okay, it's kind of sticky in the texture when putting it on. And I will be doing a video on Wednesday where I'm going to talk about some of the hits and misses from the Ulta Beauty line, some of the makeup. So if you want to see that, make sure that you hit the subscribe button down below and the little notification bell that's next to the subscribe button so you don't miss out on that one. There was definitely some things that I would not repurchase for not recommend, and then there were some other things that I actually did like. So it was a combination of both. Okay. So it's going on, I would say, pretty easily. You know, like I said, it's got a little bit of stickiness but it smooth, soothes, I can't even talk, spreading pretty easy. My trick, my problem with peel off mask, I have found in the past is I never am quite sure how much to put on. So I kind of like even, I like these that come in the tube like this, but then I kind of like one use masks because then I kind of know how much they are expecting that you put on. So it does give, it is gold, which makes sense since that's the name. That's what I would expect. Okay, so I think I got enough on. I'm not putting any above my lip area right here because that is pretty much the only place that I have really sensitive skin. So whenever I have a sheet mask or a dew mask, I always, if it's a sheet mask, I rip that part and I never put any kind of mask on there because the next day it'll be all puffy and red. Okay, so and there is already starting to be like little strings on my hands, but here's what they look like. So I'm going to wait the 20 minutes and I will be back. Okay, so I am back and as you can see, I can't really move my mouth too much because it did tighten. It is dry and definitely metallic-y, nice and smooth. So let's see how hard this will be to remove or will it be easy? Uh, it was pretty much right on 20 minutes that it dried. Okay, so it says starting with the chin area and working your way up. Kind of wondering now if I didn't put enough on. Having a little trouble getting it started. Whew, 
Okay, it's not hurting or anything, but it is kind of <laughs> tickling my nose. So oh, I had to take a little break because it's kind of making my water, my eyes water because it's kind of tickling right there for some reason. I guess I got enough on because it's coming off in pretty big pieces. Okay, so overall I'd say that this was pretty easy to remove. It dried pretty much right on the 20 minutes and as far as the peel off mask I've done, I'd say that this one was the easiest because usually I have them come off in smaller pieces so it was nice that it came off in bigger pieces. As you can see I have a little bit around here and here so and my face is pretty red but I'm going to wash off these little pieces and then I'll come back for my final thoughts. Okay, so I rinsed my face, got all the little pieces off, and I am happy with this. I feel like the redness is already starting to kind of go away. I always am red after I mask, so, but my skin feels really, really soft, and it actually does feel smoother. So I think after one time that it feels this smooth, I think if I use this regularly, that it would definitely help my skin because, yeah, it feels ultra smooth. So very happy with it. I do feel like it does give me a nice glow. There is a little bit of tightness still like kind of in this area and on my forehead a little bit here and like by my eye, not really on my eyebrows, but kind of like right here. So I feel like I will still put moisturizer on, but it definitely doesn't feel like it's pulling or too tight where I desperately feel like I need moisturizer. So I'm very happy with it. I would definitely recommend checking this out especially when Ulta has those deals where if you spend a certain amount you get a little bit of a freebie for another little kit thing for Ulta Beauty Collection so I would definitely if you like peel off mask I would definitely check this one out because yeah it feels really really nice the skin my skin feels so good afterwards it was easy to put on easy to peel off so yes this one gets a thumbs up from me so I would love to know down below if you prefer peel off mask or wash off mask. So if you wanna just put peel in the bottom in the comments or wash off, I'm just kinda of curious what people think. So again, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time.